Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be grooming Alfie. He is a German Shepherd and a Belgian Shepherd mix. He's very obedient and very docile uh, um, in his demeanor, but he's a very, very fearful dog when it comes to grooming. So he gets afraid by water touching him. He doesn't like getting his nails done but um, well we're just gonna take our time and we're going to de-shed him I'm gonna use this coat king on him it's the best kind of tool that I find is best for his coat type because he does have a undercoat so so yeah so here we go I do have a leash around his neck because he he runs away. He'll jump out of the tub if he can. So I'm gonna start off by his neck area. of his neck. Make sure not to catch his ear flap with this coat king because it does have um, sharp edges and you don't want to cut him. using this tool on his skin because you just have to let the tools do your do the work for you healthy you just want it to glide it through the coat and whatever comes out it'll come out if it's not meant to come out it just it won't you know always try to move around their coat and not like focus on one spot because you can call, cause baldness so he does like getting de-shedded and brushed and, and anything that doesn't involve water ah.
So as we learned in my other video on why not to shave double-coated dogs, um, the shedding is is taking out dead hair from the hair follicle that is in its telogen growth phase. Telogen, telogen. Not sure how you say that in English, but it's pretty. It's hair that. It's still in the follicle, but it is no longer attached to a blood vessel, meaning that it won't grow. It's not gonna receive any nutrients. It's just in the hair follicle with no, really no purpose. It's the last day, it's the last growth stage of the hair, of the three stages, sorry. So when we remove this undercoat, it's pretty smelly and grayish. You see his coat is a lot shinier, healthier, and all of this is just stuck in his pores. His hair follicles, sorry, not his pores. It's stuck in his hair follicle, just... Just making him hot, basically. Don't show your teeth to the public. Come on. There we go. I am using a... a face mask because all this hair that we're taking out carries a lot of dirt, debris, um, yeah, it's pretty impacted here. It's pretty impacted here near the, near his butt. So removing all this dead undercoat is just going to make his coat and skin feel a lot lighter and shinier. Free of all that yucky stuff that just makes him hot and stuffy and makes him pant. So we are helping him shed that winter coat he grew because it is now sunny here. So it's very important to keep your dog's skin healthy.
We took him in that night. He slept for like two days straight. He wasn't hungry. He was very thirsty, but not hungry. Um, and he slept for like two days straight. He was barely a year old, but I'm not sure what happened. I, um, I don't want to say this in a mean way, but we used to take him to this other dog groomer. what happened but or maybe it's just him I mean every dog is different but he's very afraid of water and he's very afraid of getting his nails cut off his nails cut and like before I couldn't even do this like I couldn't even brush him I couldn't even de shed him But he has shown improvement and I'm not sure if it was a groomer or if it's just him being a big old scaredy cat. But to compare to when I started grooming him then to where he, of how he is right now, he's very different. His demeanor is a lot calmer. He wouldn't even jump into the tub before, like... He was so scared of everything, he wouldn't even get into the tub. He would start shaking, he would start howling. video I am going to show you all the hair that has come off his body calm too though, huh? Because his nervousness really makes me nervous. And his, his wanting to jump out of the tub really, really gets me worked up. taking out all his winter winter fur to 
keep him warm during cold temperatures. And since it's pretty sunny and hot here, he, he needs to shed out all of that dense, warm, fuzzy undercoat. That way he can stay cool and stay fresh. I was going to do half of his body, but He's being such a good boy that I'm going to film his whole D shed, his whole pre bath D shed. So, this is pretty much the easy part. It is hard work, but in the end, when you see his coat being nice and shiny and really healthy skin, it's so worth it. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use this. It didn't take off a whole lot, but it took out some. So I said I was going to show you guys what his dish head would look like, and this is it. Look at that. That's gross. And it's wet. So it even got smaller. So technically it was a lot more hair but since it's got wet compacted a little but this is what he was wearing I mean who would want to wear all this who would want to wear all this with so much sun outside and so hot outside I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't want this winter sweater on me you know those ugly Christmas sweaters this is what a dog's ugly sweater, ugly Christmas sweater looks like. Alright guys, so I'm going to bathe him now.
that's probably going to be in another video. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave your comment down below on how you just shed your double coated dogs. What's your best method? And don't forget to share. If you're not a dog groomer, don't forget to share how your doggies came into your life. Mine just literally just showed up out of nowhere and basically knocked at my door and said hello. So, bye! Thanks for watching. Happy grooming.